Hello fellow bookworms, it's Katie. And yeah, it's Friday, so you know what that means. Ooh, ooh, no, you don't. I don't really have up upload dates, so you, you probably don't know it, but you will probably know it from the title. So yeah, it's book review time. So, so, um, yes, I've read the girl who raced fairyland all the way home by Catherine Ambulante. This is the five, the fifth and the fifth book in the fairyland series. It concludes the series and I absolutely adored this book. I mean seriously, I stayed up until 2 a.m. and I have I had university the next day. I stayed up until 2 a.m because I had to finish it. I had to finish this book. I was glued to the pages. I could not have put it aside and go to sleep. I, I couldn't have slept if I hadn't, you know, finished it. And now here we are. So this is, like I said, the fifth book in the Fairyland series. September is now 17 years old. Remember when we first met her, she's 12. Now she's 17, she's grown up so, so much. Our little girl is an adult now, well, almost, I would argue. Um, and um, the former kings and queens have come back, if you remember, on the at the end of um, The Boy Who Lost Fairyland. The other, the long lost dead, all of the kings and queens who once ruled Fairyland are back and alive. And um, September is the queen now. Well, the currently ruling queen and now they have to um, determine who will henceforth rule fairyland so they um, fabricate a race and have to um, uncover or have to find the heart of fairyland and bring it to a, a specific place in a specific amount of time which is the definition of a race good job katie um and yeah, so um, so s September, Saturday and A through L comprise a team to, you know, win the crown or keep the crown in September, September's came, case. My thoughts <laughs> other than I absolutely adore this series and I absolutely love this book. Um, this is an ending. This is goodbye. This is farewell. And it shows in every page in every in every sentence it shows the you know what it, it really shines through it shows the um the the love and and passion that Catherine and Valente has for these characters and it shines through so much and because I love September as well it doesn't bother me at all I saw some people online saying that this is too sweet or something like that and that the other books weren't as sweet. Yes, yes, it is sweeter um, than the other books, um, but I didn't. it didn't bother me at all. I, I felt it was appropriate because, you know, spending so much time writing a character, spending so much time reading a character and growing with, with that character and then saying goodbye, it is heartbreaking, really. And I, I was so... I was... Now we're getting real deep here. I was crying when I finished it because I, because the series was over, because I love loved September so much. Um, although I would argue this book has the best ending I maybe I've ever read. It, it may be the best ending ever to a series. Um, <laughs> I will not I will not talk about it. I will not spoil it, but it, it, it's 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 amazing. And I didn't see it coming. I thought, you know, Oh, I know I won't spoil it. No, I won't spoil it. Um, but I thought something would happen and that would have been like the typical fairy tale ending, like happily ever after, but it did not go that way. And then I was like, oh, we're almost out of pages. What is happening? And then it happened and I'm happy. <laughs> I'm afraid this review is not doing it for you. Um, we met, we meet a lot of characters in this book that um, that we met th during the whole of the series, um, and uh, yeah, 
that was also Sweden. That was also goodbye. You know, we said we, we met all of these characters again and to say goodbye to them and to remember the lovely time that we had. And, and you know what? I didn't... Uh, this book is an ending, um, you know, like I said earlier. And But I, I didn't mind it because one of the criticisms that I have with the um, third and fourth book, which is the girl who soared over Fairyland and cut the moon into, and the boy who lost Fairyland, was that it it that these two books they don't have endings. Um, that was my main criticism with these books. I love them, but they don't have endings, and that is why, and, and which is why this book is is an ending. This book is and this is this is the ending to these two books. Well, if you followed my reviews of this series, because I reviewed every single book of this series and I will link them down below if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and opinions on all of these books, um, then you may know that I am not the biggest fan of September's and Saturday's relationship. Um, it, it, it was more tolerable, tolerable tolerable in this book, but I'm still not the biggest fan of this relationship. Um, I just... I just... I, I, I can't even pinpoint what I don't like on it. Maybe that Saturday is so... I always feel like he doesn't really speak his mind around September. Um, and I also... I, I'm not really keen on the concept that um, like because in the first book September wasn't in love with him and they they saw their daughter and it felt like she Couldn't choose like it felt like she was fated to be in love with him and I'm not so Fond on that concept like to be fated to be with any kind of with any person like the whole mating um, um, Concept that is displayed in a lot of books. I, I don't like it um, <laughs> um, because I think it, it, it takes choice away from September. I feel like she, she never had the opportunity or the, the possibility to choose who she wants to be with for the rest of her life. And so that's why I'm not too fond of this relationship. Anyhow, this is the whole of the series. Uh, I have to say though that my favorite books were the second book and the last book. The second book is called The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Let the Rebels There. And I, 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 I adore this book. I adore this book and this book. But this book is like a, is it, it is pretty much a standalone, which I love. It, it's not like a, it's tied into the series, but it's also its own story. And yeah, so I like that. And I, I think I was a bit unfair if you watch my very first review of the girl who circumnavigated her fairyland in a ship of her own making. I was a little bit unfair, I think, because this was a serial and, and web series on Catherine Ambalanti's website. And she wrote one chapter every week and published it and like she couldn't go back and change things up and, you know, do rewrites and stuff. So. I think I judged it a bit unfairly <laughs> and I maybe on rereadings, especially since I'm reading like her nonfiction book, Extinguishable from Magic and, you know, um, discovering her more as a person and as a writer and as an author. Um, I think when rereading this, I will see things differently and I will definitely reread this series eventually. Honestly, like, as you may have noticed by my words. I really fell in love with Catherine Ambalanti's work and I will definitely check out her other books. I will already have Radiance um, on my bookshelf and I will read it sometime <laughs> when I have time. Um, uh, yes, and I really fell in love with her as a writer and as a person. I, I don't know. She was in Paris last week and I didn't know because if I had known I probably would have taken a train to Paris because it's not that far away. It's just five hours by train. So yeah, I think it's even, even four hours. Yeah. So yeah, but I didn't know. So <sighs> missed that opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyways, uh, she's a proper badass. She is a, a, a great writer and 
I would definitely recommend you check out the series if you haven't already. It's not just for, it's just it's it's not just for, um, for children or young adults. You know, I would argue that as a as a um, adult, you can take even more out of it than maybe a child can. So I would definitely, definitely recommend you check this out. Now <laughs> I'm done with all of my praise for the series. Yeah, so um, tell me, did you read the series? Did you love it? Did you read anything else by Catherine Valente? Um, <laughs> Uh, do you have any books um, to recommend to me that are similar to the Fairyland series? Um, that would be also amazing because I'm always looking for books that I can, you know, treat my cousins to and myself. So <laughs> uh, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you have uh, something magical that you're reading right now and I hope you, I will see you soon. Bye!